proxy design pattern. The proxy design pattern is a class functioning as an interface to another class or object. A proxy could be for anything such as a network connection, an object in memory, a file, or anything else you need to provide an abstraction between. It's a wrapper called by a client to access the real underlying object. Additional functionality can be provided in the proxy abstraction if required. Example, caching, authorization, validation, lazy initialization, or logging. I'm gonna create a logging example. Proxy should implement the subject interface as much as practicable so that the proxy and the subject appear identical to the client. The proxy pattern may occasionally also be referred to as monkey patching or object augmentation. Okay, so this is a diagram here. So we have a component which implements the I component interface, and I have one method called method. I also have a proxy component which also implements the I component interface also implements the method called method. Let's get coding. Okay, I'm gonna create a file called proxy.py and I'm gonna import the ABC meta classes and also date time. So here's my I component interface. Same as many other interfaces, static, abstract, with a method that should be implemented. Here's a component that implements the I component interface. And there's the method and it just prints the method has been called. So we can uh, test that quickly by creating a little client. Component equals component component.method. Let's run that. Python proxy.py. The method has been called. Let's create a proxy class proxy component implements the I component interface. We'll need an init where it creates its own internal component and we'll need to implement the method method and here I can just call directly self component dot method and that is proxied but it's not really doing anything. I wanted to ex just want to extend it, so I'm also going to log it. So f equals open log dot text for um, a pending f dot write method was proxied and the date now. Okay, so let's try that out. So Let's make that another component to equals a proxy component component two dot method. Let's see what happens when we run that. Python proxy dot py. So the same component, the underlying same underlying component was called both times, except in the second time this extra logging functionality was executed so we can see it was written to log.txt there's log.txt was proxied so let's try that again there we go log.txt and try it again and each time the proxy method is called we get a new log that's the proxy pattern implemented as a logger